Hey guys, this is WSC and I'm here to talk to you about what is cloud. You probably heard of it, iCloud, iChat, Netflix cloud, cloud storage. Let's talk about what exactly it is and how do companies benefit from it. This by far is my favorite topic. There's a bunch of buzzwords out there for it, right? We have iCloud, cloud storage, Dropbox, you name it. But what is it? In layman's terms, Cloud is a collection of software hardware networks and applications that we use on a daily basis without actually owning the physical and actual component. It could be as simple as storage for photos for your family, uh, streaming music videos, like cat videos, or even complex business applications. When we use the cloud, we're essentially using someone else's physical hardware in exchange for a fee. We're essentially renting it as we would a car or a book. The benefit is we don't have to worry about hardware requirements, physical location, security, network speed, updates, power and electricity, somebody just coming in, breaking and taking on my cat videos. All we have to do is worry if the darn thing works. To put it into perspective, cloud is used for applications to scale infinitely. Think of hamsters on a hamster wheel generating electricity. When one hamster can't take the load of 10,000 YouTubers, what the cloud does is help bring in more hamsters to tackle this intense load. Its application is based on its demand and how many times users use the application, such as how many times we click on a Netflix video or queue up a game of Fortnite. Well, the main contenders in the space, we have Amazon, AWS, of course, Google, Microsoft, Oracle, IBM, and now Apple and many others are coming. More recently, I've been hearing more about Alibaba Cloud. Very interesting. I would like to see more about that. So if you're interested in getting more into the cloud, first subscribe to this channel because I do a really good job talking about it. But more importantly, get into a cloud platform that interests you. So if you're creating Android app, look into Google Cloud. If you want to create scalable Microsoft applications or web API, get into Azure. The next thing is getting certified. You want to get it certified as much as you can. The more training that you have, the more expertise, the better that you are as a tech professional. With that industry knowledge that you gain from a specific provider, that helps you not only get better jobs, but know the platform in and out. And you can transfer that knowledge from one cloud provider to the next one. Also keep up with new updates. They do a good job in, in detailing what specifics are changed, how they're changed, why they're changed. Even some companies um, provide white papers for you to read and understand specifics of the technology and learn a little bit more than what they give you on a YouTube video. So read the white papers, read the updates. And your next best friend is Google. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for guys for tuning into this channel. I want you guys to come back. If you wanna hear more about the cloud, follow me on my socials. I'll list them at the below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll have something up for you next time. See ya.